On St. Paddy's Day, green beer is typically the choice to toast the luck of the Irish, but there may be some better alternatives. Heidi Fogelsong has some DIY concoctions that are a bit more healthful and won't turn your tongue green. Put down that green beer and treat yourself to some tasty and healthier cocktails for St. Paddy's Day. Just have something better in your belly than chemical number five. Beth Nydick, co-author of Clean Cocktails, Righteous Recipes for the Modern Mixologist, gives us three cleaner cocktails to help celebrate the luck of the Irish. Let's start with the Wasabi Bloody Mary. Just tomato juice, lemon, Worcestershire sauce, and this is wasabi paste. Squeeze about six tablespoons of fresh lemon juice into a glass, then add half a tablespoon of wasabi paste. Wasabi, the properties in here are also really good for their antioxidants in here, and it's really good for your body and your digestion. And we mix it up. Pour the mixture into a pitcher with four cups of tomato juice. Add 10 ounces of vodka. You can use regular vodka too, but because I want to make it nice and spicy, we're using the Stoli Jalapeno Vodka. That really gives it that extra kick. Mix, then pour into a tall glass and garnish. Oh, it's really hot, it's good. Next, peas of mind. Peas actually have a load of antioxidants, almost as much as blueberries, because you actually have to pummel, muddle all the peas, but it's well worth it. Add three tablespoons of peas into a cocktail shaker, squeeze half a lemon's worth of juice in, and use a muddler to smash the peas. Or, if you want to make it easier, put the peas into a blender, Add half an ounce of honey and two ounces of vodka and shake. Then pour into a glass and garnish. Mmm. Even with the whole peas, it's delicious. Finally, start the next day easy with the morning after elixir. First, you start with boiling water, and then you're going to add sliced ginger, a quarter cup. Add honey and two mint tea bags to the pot and let it steep. We're going to add one lemon juice the turmeric, and we're gonna add some salt because when you drink and you sweat, the salt comes out of your body and you need to back your antioxidants. Pour the whole thing into a pitcher of ice, leaving the ginger and tea bags in. Not only the ginger, but the lemon honey and the turmeric working together really prop up the anti-inflammatory systems in your body. This is a great way to cover from St. Patrick's Day. Find that pot of gold with healthy St. Patty's Day drinks.